what is question number 5 the persistent drives of the government for development of large industries in backward areas have resulted in isolating the tribal population and the farmers who face multiple displacements with palkanjgeri and naxalbari fokai discuss the collective strategies needed to win the lwe doctrine affected citizens back into the mainstream of social and economic growth good question yeah what is your answer what is the framework for fifth fifth question yes okay intro problems faced due to industrialization okay they are asking you corrective strategies and maybe you can already mention you can mention some government initiatives also okay by and large for left wing extremism related questions the approach will be same okay always try to have the same approach and uh, yeah so what will be the introduction we can say that uh, because of development uh, they are displacing and they are not provided with proper resettlement and rehabilitation and also and also we are exploiting them rather than giving them proper uh, facilities sir yeah sir by highlighting the development and we need to say the lack in the top one minute yesterday who whose answers i have done sumant kedar vaishnavi and raghuram sir swati sir raghu i have done na yes yeah, sir okay, okay. shrikari will do today any name whose answer sheet i have never done shri kari we have done we are doing shri kari we will just go by the sequence first swati we have not done any time hindu we have done some time arvind we have done it's long time baskar we have not done right uh <clears throat> so yeah what will be the possible answer for this question yeah so the persistent persistent drives of the government for the development of large industries in backward areas have resulted in isolating the tribal population and farmers who face multiple displacements so this is a statement which the examiner is giving from the point of view of the farmers and people who have actually suffered because of the development with malkanjgari and naxalbari fokai means they as the focus discuss the corrective strategies needed to win back the lwe doctrine affected citizens back into the mainstream okay so now the question is very big okay the actual demand of the question is what are the strategies the government should follow to win back the people who are affected by this particular lwe doctrine okay and see the they are giving keywords back into the mainstream of social and economic growth social and economic growth so even in your strategies you have to further have classification of social and economic strategies or what are the strategies required for social growth what are the strategies required for economic growth that is the core demand of the question now is it a 10 marker or a 15 marker sriram right i'll i'll check so assuming that it's a 15 marker question okay at that time maybe in 2 2015 it might be a 12.5 marker we don't know yes sir 12.5 ha uh, so assuming it's a 15 marker question you have to write certain background about the issues with development on the tribal population because that is the first part he has made a statement try to justify that statement and then you can give the case study of malkanjgari and naxalbari as to how this particular development has impacted these people in these areas towards the lwe extremism and then corrective strategies corrective strategies social reforms and economic reforms reforms in the sense what are the strategies required to bring back these affected people into the mainstream this is the framework of the answer is it clear yes sir everyone is it clear yes sir <clears throat> so what what will be the answer now you can write about the 
problems being faced by tribals okay no suman case studies in the sense you need not write the entire case study or the entire naxal bari movement you have to relate the issue of development land displacement losing the podu lands okay we even in telangana now there is an issue of podu lands so the tribal allotted lands how they are using uh, losing and then how the forest officials have you know played their role in you know getting in and then <clears throat> the nexus of state with the crony capitalists all these have have resulted in certain stigma in the people of tribal belt okay and then out of that this lwe uh, principle or the uh, philosophy has born and you have to explain just relate that yes in naxal bari also it was an issue of land displacement and so was in the malkanjgiri where you know the state wanted to give the tribal lands for capitalist or any private venture you can also mention in this answer how there is a dichotomy that tribal areas which are very remote and which are not pop popular uh, popularly occupied often end up as areas which highly mineral potential and high <clears throat> resource potential areas okay you can mention that and then you can say and you can say that they are having this particular problem of land displacement losing employment losing the ancestral lands all these are the issues and now coming to the core demand of the question which are the corrective strategies in corrective strategies what you will mention is one thing is the social part what is the social you have to encourage them to come back to the mainstream society and engage with them for that you need to sensitize the citizens and remove the taboo against the uh, maoists or the lwu extremists and then you can also provide certain social things like proper education proper health if those are taken care they will also be ready to be come back the the proper government schemes welfare schemes all these are the social measures and then what are the economic measures in social measures you can write make having the tribal schemes because if you see more often than not the people who are actually resorting to the lwe extremism are also seen to be tribals you can say all the development schemes or the welfare schemes pertaining to the tribals can be properly given to the people who are coming back from the fold of lwe if you offer that they may come back and the second thing is economic growth for that they need to have proper employment implementation of fra where they have the uh, where they have access to the minor forest produce community lands community lands yes okay and then uh, maybe you can also write innovative examples like extending mg narega in developing the infrastructure in the tribal areas proper implementation of fifth and sixth schedule and empowering the local tribes who have their own uh, decision making at grassroots level so all these will empower people and also the lwe affected doctrine citizens may come back because now they may feel more empowered okay and they may feel more assured of coming back into the mainstream society and then you can conclude conclusion can be same we can we speak about this multi pronged approach multi pronged approach you can say same thing and then you can even sometimes mention even after that if they don't come back then violence at any cost shall not be tolerated you can again indirectly mention the samadhan doctrine so all this you can bring and make a very holistic answer and conclude in a positive way that again you can take the example of yesterday's answer question that the maoism is seeing decline trend from 70 or districts to 40 or districts because of these measures only the need of the hours is to be more aggressive with the social and economic measures so that the lwe doctrine will come down drastically and we will hope that there will be one day where there will not be any red corridor at all clear yes sir yeah, you have related both of the places well strategies to reduce increasing localism education employment opportunity should be increased so in here in do what you can do is within that strategies categorize as social strategies and economic strategies it will give much more meaningful uh, framework for the answer the points you made are good 
you can mention more points that we discussed like mg narega eklavya schools all these you can mention it's a decent answer good answer in this just compare your answer with our model answer see when i am discussing i'll make a answer which, which is much beyond 150 words or 250 words okay the idea is that i am giving you some more content over and above which is required so that you will be the better judge to fit it into the final your model answer okay it's not that i am giving you only 250 words i am giving you content beyond the 250 words but it is always relevant to that answer so you take the call as to how your uh, answer should look like okay but then slowly start working on the presentation also 